The cylinder houses your small engine's piston. It is also the combustion chamber where the air fuel mixture is ignited by the spark plug. The piston moves up and down inside the cylinder, sealed to the cylinder's walls by the piston ring. A film of oil prevents the metal ring from wearing the metal cylinder. If the correct amount of oil isn't present, the cylinder and piston will quickly overheat and metal will transfer between the two, sometimes welding the two together. If dirt gets into the cylinder, it will act like sandpaper, wearing away the metal components until the seal between the cylinder and piston ring is lost. Replacing the cylinder is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the air filter cover and the air filter. Now remove the screws that secure the air filter base and the carburetor. Next I'll remove the starter. And now I'll remove the engine cover. Now remove the muffler. Now remove the spark plug. The heat shield. and the insulator. Along with the gasket. Now I can remove the cylinder. I'll rotate the cylinder 90 degrees and now I can pull it away from the piston. Now I can install the new cylinder. To install the cylinder, first I'll apply some two-cycle oil to the inside. This will lubricate the cylinder to the piston. To install the cylinder, I'll want to rotate it so either the intake port or the exhaust port is facing against the back of the tool. That just makes it fit a little easier so I can slide it onto the piston. I'll need to compress the piston rings and carefully slide the cylinder over the piston. Once the cylinder is past the piston rings, I'll rotate it again so the exhaust port and the intake port are on the correct sides. Then I'll seat the cylinder against the crankcase and now I can secure it with the screws. I'll insert the screws back into the cylinder.
and I'll use a long screwdriver to secure them. Initially, I just leave the screws loose. Then I like to manually rotate the engine over, and this will help to center the cylinder. And now I'll tighten the screws. Now I'll reinstall the insulator and gasket. Now reinstall the muffler. Next I'll reinstall the heat shield. and then the spark plug. And now I'll reinstall the motor cover. Next, I'll reinstall the starter. Now, I'll reinstall the air filter base and the carburetor. I'll finish up by reinstalling the air filter and the air filter cover. And now you know how to replace the cylinder in your small engine. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.